Hello everyone, this is your boy Darkwood coming at you with another how to arm a video. For those of you that watched my controller video, I hope it helped. I try to keep it simple. I'm not going to ask you to like and subscribe my page because I'd rather you watch my content first. It's kind of rude to do otherwise. So let's just jump into it real quick. This video is about setting up a normal, well not normal, but a controller, throttle, rudder pedals for uh, Arma. So of course, as always, you start in the pause menu, go to configure, go over here to controls. In this drop down box, it's pretty much all your controls. <laughs> Here's Zeus. I didn't even know that those were there. <laughs> then we'll go to helicopter. I pretty much... It's already set up, right? So you select which one you want it to be. So... Cyclic forward, which is your joystick. Once you click that... You simply move your joystick in the direction that you want it to go. Which that was not it. All right, any, any way you move that 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 joystick, it's going to do that right there. It's going to pop up what it says. In my case, it's already there. I was just showing you that when I move the stick or push a button, any button. Once you do have it set, though, the way you want it, like stick stick Y axis forward, you come over here and just click OK. And then you go down the same for the for the stick backward, left and right. But for, if you have a throttle, the throttle is slightly different. <laughs> As you have to use the uh, analog controller, the collective raise and lower analog not the collective raise and the collective lower non-analog it has to be analog and the same with the rudder pedals if you have rudder pedals same thing select it move it okay it and it's set <laughs> now if you have uh, dead bands if you have a really nice controller you want to set your dead bands up. You go into here. Uh, we'll go to the joystick. Go to customize. And there's your dead bands. That's pretty much where I've got mine at. I can fly. I, I think I, pre, I do pretty good with that setting right there. That was just in my joystick. So. we we'll down here to the throttle. Same way. There's all your sensitivities, all your dead zones, and about the same. It go, I mean, it just works the same for the rudder pedals as well. And here's my controller down here, but you can't control that inside this game. That's what's weird is the expensive joystick equipment you have to set up in here. The Xbox three, uh, 360 controller or the Steam controller, you have to set up in Steam. So I know it makes no sense, but that's why we're making a second video today. This goes pretty much for everything. If you want to set up your plane movement, <laughs> see my my throttle for the uh, aircraft here. Let's let's just do it because I haven't set this up yet for the plane so this is a good time okay <laughs> so nose down wow it won't recognize it there we go
nose up. All right, let's go back. So you got to click on the, the right side, not the left. The right side. Bank left. <coughs> Bank right. I just move my stick right. Same with the... Okay, so the, the pedals are already recognized on that. Where's our throttle? We'll try it. So what I did right there was I had my my throttle was in the off position, right? And then I made it, I pushed it forward to increase thrust. So now I'm going to decrease the thrust by putting it back into the normal off position. <laughs> Click OK. Um, where, where, where that one? We'll try it. So we'll, see, we'll see if it works. <laughs> There's your gear down. Flaps. Uh, see, flaps, I can just, I can just make a button, right? So, which, which button? <laughs> I don't want flaps up and flaps down. <laughs> we'll make that one. And then flaps up. Just like that. And that's how you get your joystick all set up. I'm using a, a T16000 Thrustmaster Hotas. And that's pretty much how you do that. <laughs> uh, I hope this helped. I had to figure that one out on my own. I mean, I had a little help with the Xbox controller. Uh, somebody got me pointed in the right direction, but I had to figure that out on my own too. So uh, this this is the same way. I figured this all out on my own. There aren't any other videos on YouTube showing you how to do this directly without going off on some product or talking about this or that or this or that. I'm straight to the point with it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.